All right, back for part two. So now we're going to um, create a graph that shows our species evenness data. Um, so to do that, we are going to copy it line by line. So I'm gonna copy this data from up here. So I'm gonna highlight this entire cell and I'm gonna hit um, Command C. I'm using a Mac. Uh, if you have a PC, you might use Command or Control C. Um, and then down here, I'm gonna right click on this first cell where I wanna paste the data and then I'm gonna go to paste special and paste values only. Um, and I don't need all of these decimal places. So we're gonna shorten that up a little bit, maybe to one decimal place. Um, so since we're dealing with whole numbers, really uh, our significant digits, we should be only dealing with whole numbers here. Um, okay. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with my uh, percentage of the species without oysters, All right? So control C or command C. And again, click the first cell where you wanna paste the data and paste special and paste values only and make it whole numbers so that we have the appropriate number of significant digits. Okay, um, so now move this up here so you can see. Um, to create a graph, uh, you're going to highlight all of the um, data that you want. So the first thing you want is the names of all the species, because that's going to be pretty important. We want to be able to identify our data in our graph. Um, and then I want to highlight the percentage of the species as well. And I want to keep this label, but I don't want to highlight this cell. So I'm going to hold down my command key. Again, I'm using a Mac. Uh, if you're using a PC, you're going to hold down the control key. Um, and highlight this next line of cells uh, to create a graph. All right, and so now we're gonna go to insert graph, insert chart. You can do this one of two ways. You can click this little bar chart uh, icon up here, or you can go to insert chart, both work. Um, so we are dealing with data that is a percentage at Google. Um, so the best way to show parts of a whole is a pie graph because we have that nice whole circle. Um, so it gives us a good graphic. So we're going to ignore Google's suggested options and we're going to pick a pie chart. You can pick any of those pie charts you want. I'm going to go with the classic one. All right. And as usual, um, Google suggests a, a title for us, but it's not really great. It's not very descriptive. Um, so we are going to the uh, chart titles and axes, and we want to change our chart title. Um, and we want to say this is our species evenness EV. of patch oyster yeast. All right, so from quadrat data. All right, so you have an option. Let me see if I can, can I move my head? All right, uh, and then otherwise it looks pretty good. It gives us a key already here. If you would rather have um, a, a legend, uh, you could do it a different format as well. Um, but that's a pretty good graph right there. And then to insert this into our um, document that we're working with, you can go to uh, copy chart, or you can download it as a picture, completely up to you. Um, and then you will paste that in the document that you need to. Um, another option for another option for um, creating this species evenness graph, if you wanna do both the quadrat data and the trap data, so this data over here on this other tab. Uh, so if you wanna do that for the patch and do a total species evenness of the entire um, patch reef, oyster reef patch habitat, um, then you can do that and you would end up with four pie charts. If you do um, separately like this, we're gonna end up with, let's see, we're gonna end up with one, oh goodness, we're gonna end up with one, two, three, four, five, six pie charts. So completely up to you, just depends on how many charts you want. Um, you could end up with four or six. I think that's right. Anyway, all right, good luck. Let me know if you have questions.